I want to preface this video by saying that I've never played the original Forest survival game, so I'm coming into this experience with a completely fresh set of eyes, so any comparisons of features that the original game might have had to this one, I just can't do. With that out of the way, I've got about 10 hours in Sons of the Forest, and I have to say, for a $30 early access survival game, I've enjoyed every single second of this game. Almost. The game starts you in a helicopter sequence where you're looking for what looks to be a missing family on an island. The helicopter crashes because of course it does, and you awake with your AI friend Kelvin, who's taken some pretty bad head damage, leaving him deaf. You communicate with him through a notepad to give orders, which is honestly such a cool diegetic way to interact with AI. It's actually a really cool system. And then you're on this island and you have to survive. Now, my first play session, Fuzzy and I decided to make the game harder by, uh, well... But, like, I will say... You're one with the forest now, Calvin! Kick him into the river. No, the other river. This is our, this is our drinking river. I this want to drink his blood street. later. Can we, can we, like, cut him up? Don't kill your AI companions. They are really useful for gathering rocks, logs, as well as fish. You need them. Also, right after we killed him, this happened. Here, I'm gonna try to push him. <laughs> what the f*** is that? No, don't hit him, don't hit him! Oh, you- oh! Ah! I'm dead! The first thing you'll notice about the game is just how gorgeous it is. It's got a sharp style to it that looks realistic when you're chopping trees down in the middle of the forest. You look up and you see the thing falling down, the sun's creeping through. You'd swear you were in a forest. The cave dives with nothing but electric lighters and a stun baton are creepy, unnerving, uncomfortable, and I absolutely love it. This game is pretty gruesome at times, cutting cannibals limbs off to use as weapons or even food if need be. Don't eat the legs, trust me, you go crazy. Putting heads on sticks and doing so many things that are just against YouTube's monetization guidelines. This is why you can pick up a t-shirt at BigFryShop.com to support the channel. The game's atmosphere is actually pretty incredible too. I find myself getting immersed in the world, building, chopping, stabbing. The survival elements here are all very, very impressive. The fact that I can chop down a tree in this fashion, grab a log, split it in whichever way I need to, and you can create a bunch of different structures, that had me thinking like, damn, this might be the best survival game I've ever played. Until you put a little bit more time into it and then a few cracks begin to show in this work in progress early access release. Take for instance the inventory system. I find it to be a really cool immersive way to kind of organize all of your stuff, but moving the camera back and forth trying to find certain things within this pack is kind of a pain in the ass. Pull the camera back a little bit and let me see my entire inventory in one screen so I'm not panning around looking for bones to make a chair or to wear skin armor and all of the skin is just kind of off in the bottom and you have to scroll all the way over. It's, it's just annoying. Another big issue I have is the building prompts for logs sometimes just don't pop up unless you're in a specific spot looking at a specific angle. As someone who has never experienced this type of crafting and building system, it made learning a lot harder because if the prompts don't show up, I'm sitting there holding a log and I don't know how to continue. I don't know how to do certain builds. While I was streaming, I was trying to build stairs and the top prompt for the step just would not pop up for me ever and I just didn't know how to continue. It eventually did pop up when you stand in the right spot. Also, when you're putting logs onto roofs to kind of, you know, build a shelter, sometimes it doesn't pop up to lay the log across with the other ones. It's kind of a little finicky, and it honestly gets annoying if you're, if you're spending a lot of time building stuff out of logs. Luckily, there is a blueprint system to basically feed material into for pre-built structures, and that reminded me a lot of Scum, so I felt a lot better about building, and as soon as I discovered that, I mean, it, it was off to the races. Now, let's go back to the atmosphere a little bit because the game for me is running beautifully on ultra everything, so optimization for me isn't really a discussion. I have a 12900K CPU, 64 gigs of RAM, and a 3090 Ti, so anything that I throw at it should run flawlessly, and I've been kind of scouting 
scouring the reviews and I haven't been seeing many people mention anything about performance, so I don't think it's an issue for the most part. I believe a big part of this game relies on its AI system. There are tribes of cannibals and monkey men all over the island stalking, waiting for you to slip up, and it's honestly it's borderline exhilarating trying to build or when you're in your inventory and you hear screams right beside you or rustling in the trees to your right, you look up and nothing is there. Weird. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh, something's near me. Got it. Uh... Oh, what the f*** is that? Somewhere over here. Are you guys out here in the screaming? It's unnerving at times. Some of these cannibal men, they don't attack you at first. They just watch you from afar. They move in between trees and you think you see something out of the corner of your eye and there's nothing there. As you explore the island, you find camps and some are empty, some are covered in bodies, and some are full of cannibals. Oh, that looks like some structures oh, over there. The no, no, I'm, I'm following you. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's people there, there's people there. Isn't there people moving? Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. Oh, right, Those are tribe people. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's a big boy. That that's is a, a big very boy. big boy. Holy fuck. Look at that monster. What do you want to do? Like, if we go, we're like fucking up. But like, I feel like they we, we We can kill them. But if we're going to engage, I'd rather just shoot them from here and see what they do. Yeah, shoot. I don't even know how this is going to drop. Oh, he's dead. I headshot him. Nice. Oh, oh. Okay, hold on. That one's running. He, he doesn't see where it's from. Shoot him. Shoot him again. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. These are my compound arrows I got out of the crates. All three dead. He's not dead. He's not dead on the ground. Okay, There's he's crawling. guy to the right. To the right. Just still interrogate him. Guy to the left, too, running. Hey. Hey, friend. Okay, they know we're here now. Oh, big guy. Big guy coming. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that arrow on the back of his head? Yeah, yeah you f***ed him up. Yeah, like, you did. <laughs> okay, does he have the same pose for yeah, you as he, he does for me? Yeah, he does. Whoa, well, he's twitching. He's twitching. Honestly, guys, I, I don't think the tribesmen are that powerful. Truth be told, my first 10 hours with Sons of the Forest is f***ing awesome. As somebody who went in with zero expectations outside of everyone seems to be excited about this and their trailers kind of look intriguing, I am pleasantly surprised at how much fun I'm having. So if you're like this guy and you can't wait to hear my opinions of the game, it's positive. Very much so. I think this is an example of delivering an experience that already has a lot of meat on the bones at a price that a lot of people weren't expecting for the quality level that we were seeing in the trailers. It's only $30 on Steam, which for most early access titles, a lot of people would be batting their eyes being like, ah, there's not a lot going on there that can justify $30. Here, however, I think it's a steal. I mean, hell, the game has sold over 2 million copies in just 24 hours, it broke Steam at launch, and is starting to take the world by storm, and I think it absolutely deserves it. If you're playing Sons of the Forest, let me know what you guys think down below, and if you aren't, let me know why. I'm always curious to hear your thoughts, and while you're down there, you know what to do. Leave a like on the video, and subscribe for more early access content just like this. Shout out to the 308,000 subscribers on the channel. My name is Big Fry. And I'll see you on the next one.